Finally, it's hitting a neighborhood just off the Country Club Plaza. And tonight, the armed suspects are still on the run. New at 10, 41 Action News reporter Lexi Suter talked with concerned West Plaza residents. Lexi. Well, Mike, this is a quaint, a quiet neighborhood, as you said, just steps away from Country Club Plaza. So neighbors here tell me they're surprised, and police still don't have a lot of answers. We saw all the lights and things like that, and we just assumed, you know, I think we both kind of back and forth said, oh, maybe someone just like hit someone's car. Nine o'clock on Tuesday night, Olivia Morgan and Sarah Burton saw police at a fire truck. Not typical for this West Plaza neighborhood. So we hadn't heard the gunshot, and then to hear later on um, was certainly alarming. I think if we had known right in the, at the time, it would have been a lot more, a lot more, you know, upsetting, mm -hmm. scary. Police say a neighbor called after hearing gunshots, one even hitting this home, and then seeing a man running through the area with a rifle. Then another resident of the area told police he was beaten and robbed shortly after returning home. The two suspects left with the victim's wallet, phone, and car. We walk to the plaza all the time and walk back, and it's dark, and you don't ever think about someone coming up to you and trying to rob you or shoot you at all. These young women never really worry about their safety, but the news of this crime has them on guard. It's always seemed like because it's so close to the plaza that, you know, not a lot of crime can happen here, but um, yeah, that's definitely not the case. Police officers investigating this crime were able to track some fresh uh, footprints in the snow to maybe give them an idea of what direction those two t suspects took off on, but still, they do not have anybody in custody. Reporting live in Kansas City, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.